Hey everyone, welcome to a new series. Now, this series is going to be basically me updating you in a talk show kind of format, unlike the other one, which was kind of a joke video. This is the real update video. You're going to get everything you need to know in a short amount of time. So, let's get to the point. May 31st, Sunday, that is this Sunday, guys, the one coming up after this video. New World, World 5, World 4 is going out the door. Say goodbye. We're going to have a little closing ceremony, maybe, and then have finally the opening ceremony on that Sunday, May 31st. Keep that marked on your calendars. So, what's coming in this new world? Well, me and Steph discussed this, and we also had some stuff, uh, some help, rather, from uh, the members of our server. Specifically, we had help from uh, Stowe and Jesse, who suggested that we provide objectives for the server, similar to something that the Hermitcraft thing, uh, you know, Hermitcraft people did. I think they did that, but I'm not too sure. You can you can uh, check that yourself. But basically what we're doing is using the scoreboard objective, objective system, rather, to, I guess you would say, give people achievements. Now, how is this even possible? Well, this is how it's going to work. Let's say, for example, you kill a wither. Great, you just got a star. You can use that star, of course, to make it beacon, or you can go to the completion monument that's going to be at spawn. It's a whole new building that's going to be designed by you. And when I say you, it's the entire community. Now, there's going to be a creative server where everyone can now build everything they desire before they put it onto the main, you know, the main uh, world. So if you want to say, hey, hey, come check out my house, come check out my new farm or whatnot, you can check it out there first, give some opinions, give some feedback, and then if they like it, and if you like it, guess what? Move it over to the main world. Uh, well, you obviously have to build it, but you know what I mean. Now, back to the objectives, this means that using anything like, I don't know, let's say for example you also kill a guardian, you can take the prismarine, or if you kill the weather, the, the nether star, put it inside the objective machine, which is a command block with a hopper or a chest, we haven't quite figured that out yet, but we know the commands, it'll process that and it'll pop out a book, a certificate that says, hey, you've completed this, you've done this, well done, and you put it onto the uh, objective wall, and it'll be leaderboards, you'll track what objectives you've done and when you've did it and, and uh, what you've completed so far. I think that's going to be fun. Now, this moves, moves me on to a different topic called questing. So, questing is kind of something that we've threw thrown around since, I guess, six months ago, but we didn't have the command block uh, advantages that we have nowadays, uh, which is basically, you can... You can do anything now. You can make NPCs talk, you can teleport people, you can uh, have the text clickable in books. With that, we'll talk about that more a little later, some other update video along the line, but you can keep an eye out for questing. Uh, it might be NPCs, it might be using current builds, we're not entirely sure yet, but we know that we're going to release it in World 5. Themed towns is something new as well. So. With the creative world that I described earlier that had to do a little bit with the objectives uh, update, everyone's going to have the ability to vote for specific themed towns, uh, I guess you would say on a monthly basis or a weekly basis, anytime anyone suggests anything on our new website, by the way, if you didn't check that out, you've got to check it out now, there's going to be the ability to post pictures, to vote for pictures, to create subgroups, to create profiles, so everyone knows who you are, you know who everyone else is, and there's no sort of the, I guess you would say, the sort of like, who are you? Like, because the, the Skype chat has grown over to 50 people. Well, it's, some people have left over the past of the uh, past couple months now, but uh, it's still growing. We have just decided to stop taking the applications. If you, it, don't, don't get the wrong impression by that. We still get tons of applications that we are currently not accepting because just the sheer amount of people we have right now, and we don't want to alienate you. So, with that in mind, let's bring out our first guest. Let's go to the desk. Let's talk to you, Sil501.
Hey, Steph. Hey. Now, this is the first episode of this new series, and I think it was appropriate to have you as the first guest, being an administrator, one of two administrators, as a matter of fact. Now, last, uh, I would say last uh, night, we talked about uh, what are the old rules and how we can use them and what do we want to keep and what's important. Uh, you had some important notes that you'd like to say, I think, about the old strong guidelines. You can mention them anytime. Right. So let's talk about those old rules. Uh, if you check out our website, all of them are listed there, but I'm going to say them uh, right now. Uh, building in non-permitted areas without permission, excessive redstone contraptions, automatic farming and material exploitation, branch mining in underground bases, and hacked or modded clients. Now, these rules are all up in the server, all of them. They're very important. We spent the time writing this for you, so we would like everyone to please read it. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of old now. I think it's about, uh, I would say the rules are like a year and a half old. It was like from World 2. That's when the world you came in. I think, around there, right? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, just, you know, just a little personal note, a little side note that I know a lot of people agree with. There's a general guideline on there that says something about beautification. Stop the freaking griefing holes, the stupid creeper holes. Hate those. Fix them. Fix them. That's all we're saying. Just make sure that they're all covered. Now, now that's not that. That's, I've, <laughs> I've had my piece. I've, that's my ramble for the day. All right. We I worked agree. on this morning, right? This morning we have a few new rules, and they have to do with building permits. What exactly is a building permit, stuff? Well, building permit, is, it's basically something that will be issued to you in order for you to build your home or build a base on the server. Yeah, I think that's that, that's a pretty simple way to put it. Uh, we're not planning on restricting any building. It's only so we know where people are building and what they plan on building because we had some problems last world. I don't know if you've seen this stuff, but where people would just build these huge massive bases and all of a sudden I turn around the corner and just be like, well, when did that come there? When, when was that built? Like. It, it gets a little confusing when that happens. Uh, as a matter of fact, Steph was building... Uh, what were you building on that island? What was that thing? The it was island. a lighthouse, right? It was like a like a tower, yeah. And then Emily comes and explores, and guess what? She bumps into your island, even though no one was supposed to know about it. Right? Yes, that's true. I, I think it's kind of important for us all to know where people are building. Even if it's a secret base, no one else is going to know except for us. We just want to know what the coordinates are. What else, Steph? I don't know. What, what else I mean, were the requirements? Yeah. I mean, sometimes you build something, and you never know if someone had intended to build something on that piece of land or area. Yeah, that's right. It's just kind of tough to, like, coordinate these things. So at least if we, if we're aware of it, you know, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> that's right. That's absolutely right. So fundamentally nothing changes except for the fact that it's like, hey, I'm going to build this, and I build it. And we'll just say... Most of the time we'll say yes, unless it's something like, I'm going to build a gigantic creeper statue. <laughs> if it's something like that, then we're going to have the... Then we're most likely not going to approve that, but... Unless it's something, you know, if it's on your own land, if you already have a building permit there, you can build anything on it you'd like, but that's basically what I'm saying. Yeah. Now, do you want to know what's in this permit? Yeah, I think that's probably important for them to know what, right. what a permit is. So basically, what a permit is, it's just basically going to have... Uh, it's a book with your name, uh, the description of the build, and the coordinates. So we know exactly where you're building because it, it's, it has happened where we're like, oh, I don't know where you live or where's your base? Like, I like to check it out, but we don't know. So unless we ask you, then, then we'll find out. But it's, it's just basically to keep track of everything. That's basically right, Steph. And what we're trying to say here is that you can build anytime you want, but there'll be one condition. All you need to do is file that temporary permit. We didn't mention that, but this is something, again, this is something completely new. A temporary permit is basically what Steph said. It's a book with your coordinates, the description of the build, and who built it. It'll be a, a little certificate saying that, hey, you're provisionally allowed to do this. Um, again, we won't deny anything. Nothing is denied unless it's something ridiculous. I mean, it'd have to be something that you're... A, a, a giant creeper statue or something that's completely impossible for you to finish. Like we had several projects that, in other worlds, World 1, World 2, and World 3, 
where people would have large projects, right? Even my, myself included, right? In that, a Colosseum, the Colosseum, remember that one? Yeah. The first world? Oh. I tried building that, didn't have enough time. So, things like that. If you have two projects that are too big for just one builder, you might want to think about getting another builder. If, if For example, if I say that, uh, hey, I'm building at zero zero a Colosseum with me just as a builder, it'll probably get denied. But if it says with me as a builder and Steph as a builder, it most likely will be accepted because there are more than one person working on a large project like that. So it's, it's basically building within reason. Now, I think uh, Steph specifically wanted this rule in here. It's about mob farms and other things like that. Well, what, what about mob farms that are, uh, deal with building permits, basically? Well, basically, uh, mob farms or any other farms that we want to build on the server, we just try to kind of minimize, you know, lagginess on the server. Like this kind of talks about as well, the, the redstone contraptions. Yeah. So, you know, regular wheat farms or those other farms. But aside from that, like iron farms or gold farms, we, you know, you want to make sure that you get a building permit for that because that could cost... Uh, lag on the server or you know we won't prove where it's built yeah that, that that totally makes sense and i think also included with the iron gold farm has to do with the mob towers and the mob platform things like the big grinders that don't use spawners right that'll probably be included in that as well so all of this is really it's it, it's no different than asking us permission now it's just written down and it's officialized so if you want to find something you'll never lose it ever. So it, it's something that we wanted to do for a while now, but we're, we're finally taking the time and doing it. Uh, it was, it's been with us since, I would say, almost a year ago in the snapshot world. So, oh man, that was 13 months ago. <laughs> so, right. yeah, that's, that's, a bit, that's a bit much. So that's, that's really all that's coming for World 5, and I think it's exciting. I think, I think we're going to have fun with this. Do you want to mention anything about the creative server? I think I did mention something about the creative server in the beginning. Okay. All right, Steph. So, do you have it marked in your calendar? What day is the new world coming? You want me to say it? I want you to say it. It's going to be on May 31st. Oh, boy. That's going to be that's so close from now. But I'm excited. Aren't you not? I think everyone's excited, especially Merrowing. I bet he is excited. All right. So, hopefully that makes all sense to you. Hopefully we didn't uh, do anything that was too confusing or at least too overwhelming because it's going to be it's going to be kind of a stressful world I think just slightly stressful because we're going to have to migrate over to the new website if you, if you didn't already notice me and Steph have been stressing website 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 because that's what we're going for Skype we're still going to use Skype we're going to legacy Skype but we're going to try to do more things with uh, something called BuddyPress on the Power Dorica site. It's similar to, I guess you would call it a Reddit slash Facebook-y kind of thing. You can send people private messages. You can create uh, subgroups and conversations and that and have a profile. Uh, you can put any pictures you'd like. And I mentioned earlier it was uh, the voting system and whatnot. All going to be on there. So keep an eye on that. Events are also going to be listed on there. Anything new, no longer going to be in the Skype calls or the Skype uh, chats. It'll all be on the website with the blogs and the thread posts. So... That is your new one-stop place for all the information you need. That's Anything right. like that, Steph? No, I just want to say that if they have any questions, always, always ask and feel free. All right. I think that's, that's, that looks good for today. I think this is hopefully something we'll do maybe once a month, maybe even once every two weeks, if it goes well. If you like it, we'll, we'll keep doing it. So with that, I'll see you March, or rather May, not March, <laughs> May 31st. March 31st. Thank you.